you can reinstall the sqlite uh, uh, our student table by just visiting this uh, url it's available in your description copy the entire code this will delete and reinstall table with all the sample records let's run this yeah you can see that they will deleted and the records are added we'll remove this code block and uh, let's work on a fresh one we'll learn all the delete commands will delete single record and multiple records so let's for that from we'll import the sql alchemy dot exe import we will importing the libraries now sql error fine now we will write the uh, delete query q is our this is a variable q is the variable delete uh, from student is our table where the sql where id is equal let's say 5 fine the one record we want to remove that which have a id now let us put the try block here we'll just execute the our query r set is equal to now my connection is i am already having a just at the top block i here i have a, we have already checked it this line you see so my connection is the connection string which will be using for our further thing now we'll execute it what you will execute we'll execute the query q is the variable at the line number two we have written now let us say we'll come back if there is any error what you will do we'll write the except block for this sql error as e now we'll get the string out of it error is equal to str now e dot constructor we are using fine we'll capture the error string now now we'll simple print the error okay now if say there is no error then we'll uh, print a success message so we'll say else now inside the else block we'll write print number of records deleted now we, there is another method we can use which will capture the number of records updated deleted all these things so this affected is our set is our record set dot now we'll use row count fine so now this will tell us how many records are deleted let's go up a bit fine let's run this code yeah number of records deleted is one so one record got deleted this code will use as it our template and we'll just change the uh, query part to achieve different results now let's i'm pasting it here now instead of uh, deleting a single record let's say i'll just change it to class is equal to let's say four now this is the mm, directly we're using a string so I'm using class equal to four. Let's see what the output. Yeah, number of records deleted is eight. Because we have a try except uh, module here, so we can use. Uh, you can see how the error message is printed. Also, let's. I'm just intentionally changing the student table to student one, which is not existing. Now I'm just uh, run this, and it will tell no such table student one. Fine. So this is how we can our try and except block works so let us move further we'll this time we'll use a parameterized query parameterized query is instead of directly using the data we'll we'll take it use it as a parameter you can see our previous video on this so we'll create a parameter where class i'm using a placeholder now this placeholder value separately will send so we'll say my data or anything you can say now i want to delete all the records of classes 5 so here i am given the tuple created a tuple let's use a comma yeah and second here I, you can see the placeholder now what i will do i will pass this data separately i will use my data fine now this everything remains same let's run this 
yeah, number of records deleted three. Now this is a how a parameterized query or a prepared statement we have used now. <coughs> we'll use two placeholders now. Let's paste it the same code. Now we'll change the bit this. Uh, first let's change the query where class or make it more or class we are given a or combination here and placeholder we have used fine we'll end it now here we'll say we want to remove 6 class 6 and class 7 so rest of the code remains same let's run this and see the output you can see 17 records deleted so both the class class 6 and 7 are deleted now let's copy this and see one more type of delete we want to delete now the entire code block <coughs> sorry and all the records uh, there is no data it is not required there is note that sqlite doesn't support the truncate command so i have to delete all the rows now this where command will remove delete from student this is no more required we'll delete this so then here it will be re removed fine now this will remove whatever record is there it will create a empty table for me so number of records deleted six because no more records are there now what happens if i run it again let's see number of records deleted zero because there is no more records yeah, this is uh, how the delete command works and uh, you can download this sqlite 6 noted that this delete is in 6 uh, this uh, jupyter notebook along with the zip file you can download it and the description uh, all the urls are available in your description